Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. My name is Greg Sykes. Thank you for joining us. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to this channel. When you do, hit that notification bell so you will never miss another video release. Also, like this video, share it with your buddies, and with that said, let's get into today's video. So, was Bruce Allen the bad guy after all? It seems like as we hear more and more about the findings from this investigation, it seems like... Bruce Allen may not have been the bad guy. Now, he probably was a bad guy in some respects, but in other respects, it sounds like that Dan Snyder was turning out to be the bad guy in all of this. And, and because of this, it, it really, you know, it makes you feel like more than ever, this, this sell of this team needs to happen pronto, ASAP. So we found out that it was not Bruce Allen who jettisoned Trent Williams. Bruce Allen said that we could resign Trent Williams. That wasn't the problem. He wanted to resign Trent Williams. So the fact that it was Dan Snyder who flat out said, no, we are not resigning him. We are going to fine him the max because Trent Williams was sitting out. He was going to sit out the whole season because of, you know, you remember the whole medical thing, uh, Concerning Trent Williams' head, there were, uh, I believe, what was it? Was it like, uh, it was cancerous tumors, and that uh, made it very difficult for Trent Williams to even put his helmet on. Uh, very painful. And uh, so Trent Williams blamed the, the medical staff for the screw-ups and the foul-ups and all that stuff. So anyway, you know, Trent Williams sits out. Dan Snyder obviously is upset with this, so he doesn't want to re-sign Trent Williams, thinks it's all a money thing. So instead of re-signing, and it seemed like maybe Trent Williams did want to stay in Washington, just wanted some things changed, they wind up jettisoning Trent Williams for like a third and a fifth. And, and I mean, that's all we got for him, a third and a fifth. And now you look at Trent Williams, he is still today one of the best left tackles in football. An all-pro left tackle. And now I love Charles Leno. I love his wife. His wife is so great on Twitter. She interacts. She's a sweetheart. And Charles Leno, um, you know, he is a Walter Payton Man of the Year nominee. Great guy. Great, great guy off field. But imagine Charles Leno and Trent Williams. I mean, that, that is something that this team really needed, really needed badly. And, and just the fact that it's just another thorn in our side with this whole Dan Snyder saga, you know, and he just needs to go. He, he just needs to go. He needs to go away and as fast as possible. I can't wait for the day. I know some fans are still saying this is all ploy. He's not going to go away. He's just looking to see how much that he can get, and he's going to be like, yep, no, those offers are not good enough. I think I'll keep the team. Could happen. I don't think it. that's likely, though, and I think we're going to find out pretty soon who the next owner is going to be. Let me know in the comment section what you think. We could have had Trent Williams. We could have kept Trent Williams. Just burns me up hey you stayed until the very end thank you so much watch another one right now